All right, I think I'm on live, which translates to my dog will start barking, of course. So my name is Johnny Daniel, Stampin' Up. Just want to welcome you tonight, if you're just joining me, which you should be, since we are just starting tonight. Um, if those of you who know me know that I've already had a full week, of course, and wanted to let you know that, well, it's always crazy. So, um, we have evidently blown, hey, Lise, how are you? Um, we evidently blew a head gasket, so we have already gotten a new car, so we can continue on with life. And, well, that's just it. So, if you know anybody that needs a PT Cruiser with a blown head gasket, please let me know. And I'd be happy to sell it to them for a very reasonable price. So, um, beyond that, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> so, so um, yes, I'm still picking moss off my table from this weekend's class of the succulents. So, um, for those of you asking, um, it is cider. And a little bit of fireball, because I just got home from, um, well, Moreno Valley from getting a car for Jewel. So, like, less than an hour ago, probably. Uh, two hours ago, maybe now. Um, he got a 2000... Hi, Nanette! Um, he got a 2015 Honda Fit to fit all his gear for all his gigs. So, because he was going to Long Beach this weekend, and, well, we needed something because my truck wasn't going to Long Beach. We'll just say that. So, my mug has a little bit of kick tonight. I am happy about that um, because it's been an extremely long day. 200 miles, kids getting picked up from school, from other people, and, you know, dogs and life and everything else. So, we're not complaining. I'm grateful to be able to do it. But, um, I'm glad it's done, and now i got to figure out how to get rid of the other one. So, I'm going to have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five vehicles. And, uh, Tara's not driving yet, and that's only between the two of us, so. So, I'm slowing down for the day, finally. And I have no idea how much stuff I actually need to get done because I never even started today. So I might just call it a night, have another glass with some fireball, and go to bed early and conquer all of it tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. So I'm thinking I'm lined up correctly because I've been looking at the placement and everything else. And so far, so good. So I want to give you a couple announcements and then we're going to get everything going for this week's um, live. So, um, just wanted to give you a heads up. Yes, we are doing tethered hot air balloon rides for March 18th, the car show. I do have tickets to sell. Um, you go up approximately 50 feet in the air, which if you're a photographer would be awesome to be able to take some pictures. It's about, what did they say, 10 to 15 minutes and they can do it unless the winds are over 40 miles an hour, which I wouldn't want to go up anyways if they were over that. Um... From 2 to 6 p.m., anytime in there, present your ticket, $20 for a pre-sale, and at the basket, it's $30. So, if you want these, please let me know. Yes, I can take credit cards, um, but something else that's going on. So, kind of cool. So, um, also wanted to give you a heads up, because Lisa's usually on here, the stamp set of the month club, yes, I'm running behind. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because of everything going on. But we're going to be doing the bundle, that's the tag, more than likely, and I'm going to be working on that tonight and tomorrow. So, that's that for that. Alrighty. So tonight we're making it quick and easy. Um, we're going to do Paper Pumpkin, and I have only untaped the box and taken the little ink spots out, of course, because, well, I don't like one inch of much of anything bigger is better, right? So, um, so anyway, so I have gotten my colors out. Island Indigo and Flirty Flamingo are the two colors that we have. And my block, of course. And then we're going to open it up. So this month's, which, by the way, this is the birthday month 
for Paper Pumpkin, if you don't know this. It's the fourth birthday, Yahoo! So glad it's still here. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up, this is February's kit, so I'm a little behind with everything, right? Um, but March's kit, which the deadline for March is this weekend, Friday to be exact, on the 10th, if you would like to be part of it, there's supposed to be some huge surprise. So I'm not sure what that means, but usually when they sur say surprise, that means a bonus stamp set or something great. So you might want to um, be part of that. We'll just say, right? So I am grabbing my scissors and I wanted to show you our kits and the fact that there's not a lot of thought required. Thank heavens for tonight. I don't think I could do a lot of thought. But there's not a lot of thought required, which translates to this is a great gift. This is a great um, quick project for you. If you're running out the door and need a birthday gift for somebody or something like that. So I'm just getting this opened up. And here's the directions. Ooh, I almost, let's not do that, right? So on the glimmer paper, if it's already die cut, which in this case it is, you want to turn it over to be able to see the lines, okay? You like that stamp set, Lise? Well, good. I'm glad you like that stamp set. If you come to the flea market on Saturday, it might be in one of the, um, sale bins. We'll just say that. Um, if you like the entire kit, I do have an extra kit for 20 bucks that you can purchase as well, but I only have one. So make sure you let me know. The only thing that is not included in it, in it I will get it out, is um, the clear block. Everything else comes with it, meaning the little ink spot, uh, the glimmer stuff that you see here, I'm working on it. I'm going to flip all this over so you can see. Alrighty. So, these long envelopes that go with the cards that I'm going to just put to the side. Now, these are the pull tabs. Now, I love the fact that this also comes with full instructions. I'm going to just hammer these out really quick. Get one of them out. Ooh, this is, I thought it was thick. No, it is two sheets. So, it's a party. Okay, so we're going to put these to the side. I'm just getting a little bit organized. And let's see here. Should we do the peach, Calypso Coral? Should we do the blue, Night of Navy? Or should we do the mint macaron? So comment below. I want to talk about the mint macaron. Um, please remember, within the next month or so, the retired sets are going to be announced, but I right after convention or on stage when I get back, actually, so mid-April. But I want to let you know that I already know that the in color from last year that was started will be on its way out. So the mint macaron, the watermelon wonder, whatever else is in that stack will be retiring. So if you have the stamp pads, please make sure to grab your reinkers, grab your paper, grab whatever consumables you want with that stack because once it's gone it's going to be really hard to find okay um, especially the mint macaron because it seems like everybody likes it so I just want to give you a heads up that that's coming down the pipe and it's while supplies last and while I'm out on while supplies last celebration as well is while supplies last so the card tin the gold um, the gold and white striped card tin that only came with the tabs in it, that's already sold out and there's a few other things that are close. So I just want to give you a heads up that if you're thinking about stuff, please don't wait till the absolute last minute. Mint. Okay, got it. Um, please don't wait till the absolute last minute because, well, you might miss out. We're just going to say that. So, All right, so this whole set is designed with gift cards or the invite in mind. And I'm going to do it with a gift card in mind because I do a lot of like Starbucks little gift cards and that kind of stuff in order to say thank you. The only thing I do not like about Paper Pumpkin are the glue dots actually because they're double sided so I keep them for my kits and different things. Hold on a sec. I 
just wanted to get my regular glue dots. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. I I um I usually have them on the table, so I just forgot that I normally like to already have them done. You know, already have them on the table. I like these kind of glue dots instead of what they give and having to peel the backs off because they're they're thin. They're great and they do the purpose, but I just prefer these. So it's really up to you and what you get used to. But because I started with the box, you know, that's kind of what it is. I had to do a sip. Sorry. Alrighty, so. So I am going to, and I am literally just going off of the instructions. So if it becomes a mess, well, we'll call Stampin' Up! and tell them it became a mess. But this, in itself, the whole kit is designed to do in 30 minutes. Um, I have done it in 30 minutes, but I will tell you this, my creativity usually gets the best of me, and I end up pulling out about half of my craft room, so if you don't make extra for yourself, it can definitely be done in 30 minutes. However, <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, with me at least. So I'm going to fold the score lines of the card base, and then I'm going to peel the ad adhesive backing. I'm just literally peel the adhesive backing from the card pocket and center and attach the candle flame. So I'm literally just reading the instructions. So guess what I'm doing? I'm peeling the adhesive. Yes, it's this easy, and I love the fact that when I'm brain dead, I can still get something done. So... As long as I put the flame in the correct place, and I am thinking I'm going to do it this way. Do I fold this over? Seal card shut with short side of, yeah, okay. So I think I am actually going to do it this way. We're going to see if this is a huge mistake, but I want to have the candle lined up in such a way that I can, okay, come on. So I want to have the candle lined up so it pops up correctly. Ah, my candle moved. No. Okay. Don't do it that way. See? We'll find out the hard way, won't we? So I'm going to mush, mush, mush. And we're going to see with the short side overlapping the long side. Perfect. Uh, no. <laughs> I did it backwards. Ah. Okay. So good thing it's got glitter on it so I can still pull it out. <laughs> Make sure your candle faces the little pocket window because if it doesn't you're going to end up peeling it apart like I am and saying, oh no, just like I am. Okay, so we fixed it. It's okay. No problems. <laughs> so, it's always something, isn't it? Alrighty, so... So we folded it over, we sealed the card shut. Insert the card base into the envelope all the way and stamp inside. Okay, when you don't peel it apart, it'll be fine. Stamp inside the window opening. Okay, I can do that, I think. Got it. So there's your tab. Got it. <laughs> Some days, when I've been on the road all day, my brain doesn't always work. And now I'm looking for my stamps. <laughs> so... So I'm thinking I'm going to say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, and go down the road that way. Um, I have a lot of road today, don't I? I've been on the road a long time today. Alrighty. So we're going to stamp happy in there. And I think we're going to do this in the blue if that's okay with you guys. Because I want it to stand out. I don't want it to just be... The pink so I wanted to actually pop a little bit okay so there's my happy yay I got that far awesome <laughs> some days are better than others and well yes <laughs> so oh well alrighty so here's my happy birthday So I am thinking, and you know what, hmm, if they're going to pull it out like this, I'm actually going to stamp it on top, because then as you're pulling it out, you can see it, 
right? That, hey, now I'm thinking a tiny bit, you guys. Just a little bit, though. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this going. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when my brain's on, on autopilot all day long. Alright, happy birthday to you. So it's backwards, so that way when you're pulling it, thank heavens our ink dries fast, right? So when you're pulling it, it's happy birthday to you. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to do my gift card there. Let's see if we have any other decorative stuff. It helps if I probably, I'm going to do a pull on the side, and I'm going to do a treat yourself and a two from. Okay. I'm going to have a whole bunch of stamps out here that have been inked because I'm not cleaning as I go. I'm being lazy. Go figure, huh? So I am thinking I'm going to do the pull in pink. Maybe it'll be different enough that people will see it. Now you want to make sure to do it the right way and not have it back. So there's my pull, and I love this pull because I do not know how many times I have done cards with tabs on it and have not had a pull. So I actually like that. All right, let's look the right way so I don't have to go backwards. And I am thinking I'm going to do a treat yourself, you deserve it. And I'm also going to do a two from on the back is what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, so let's put this on correctly, and I'm probably out of screen, but I am getting back to there, and I just put my thumb in the blue ink. So, happy birthday to you, and I'm thinking I'm going to do a treat yourself, you deserve it down here, and I bet I just stamped that right in the middle where the gift card's going to go. I think the gift card's going on the back for me. Okay. So that solves that issue, doesn't it? And, alrighty. So let's see here. So how's everybody doing tonight? I bet you haven't had a crazy week, right? Ha ha ha. I just remembered I want the pink instead, so if you blow on it and kind of make it happen it'll work so I'm gonna do some pink here am I off the screen tell me if I am so I'm gonna do this okay so I think that's gonna be cool we have kind of an arrow hmm what can I do with this can I make it look like an arrow I think so Is the challenge tonight to use the entire stamp set? No, I don't think so, but it might end up being that way, huh? So, you should see my little lineup over here. It's quite a, it's quite impressive. So I'm actually going to do this diagonal, so I have a little bit more room. So I have my arrows on the same thing. See how that kind of looks like? Well, we'll see. I don't know. Alrighty, so I am going to do this just to be different because you all are surprised I'm different, right? Okay, so I am going to get this and do this this way, okay, and let's see, how many more stamps do I have left in here? Not very many. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so make sure to leave room for a gift card. There's my two from. Come with me, celebrate. I think we're going to do celebrate. And then I think... We're going to have enough on here, so I'm going to be like three shy of the entire stamp set. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so depending on if it's a girl or guy, I would probably do the blue for a guy and the pink for a girl. And I'm just going to layer this a little bit. 
and have it going almost ombre effect. Okay, down into where I'm gonna put the gift card, right? So that's my thoughts. I might be done now though with my thoughts. So gift card's gonna go kinda in the middle and on the very bottom I'm just gonna do a little to from, okay? So that's my thoughts on that. I'm not sure if I like that candle. What are your thoughts? Use them on the envelope. Okay, I can do that. We can finish the entire stamp set, of course. So let's see here. So we pull, and it says, Happy Birthday to you. And then it says, Treat yourself, you deserve it. And then you flip it over, and you say, Celebrate. And then the gift card goes here, kind of sideways. And then you have two from. That's a really cute set. And I, of course, I'm already thinking of alternate ways of that you could fold it over and make a bag, or you can cut it in half and put a business card in it so it's cute. You can do a keychain. My brain never stops. You guys should know this by now, right? Okay. So, envelope. All right, I got to finish the rest of the stamp set, is what Miss Nanette says. So, let's see here. I'm taking this piece off. Don't let me lose it, though. I might. Come to you with me. Come. Hmm. How do I say this? Come with me to you. Come. Use them on the envelope. I'm using them on the envelope, but. Hmm. I'm trying, Miss Nanette. All right. I think it's going to say, come celebrate with me. So I'm going to end up with a little bit of duplicate, but that is okay. So if we've got this really long envelope, I'm probably gonna address it here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the back side. So I'm gonna say, come, and I'm gonna peel. Now if you have multiple blocks, you're more than welcome to use them, but I was trying to stay in the spirit of paper pumpkin and only use my one block. Since my cleaner's on the other side of the room, I'm going to be lazy, and I am going to say, come celebrate, and maybe this is like a gift card to dinner, so we can celebrate together, so this is going to be come celebrate, let's see, I did it two letters in, so we're going to do it even here, come celebrate with me. And pull to you? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Alrighty. To you, to you, happy birthday to you is what I think. But we're going to do the smaller one so I can make it kind of. Oh, I need to move this up. Move this up a little so it hopefully stamps well. Happy birthday to you. And that, I think, is going to go, ooh, I didn't get that bottom one. Ooh, let's do that. Happy birthday to you. And because of the crease, it didn't do so well. So I'm going to do it up here as well. All right, I have officially used every single piece in the stamp set. See? Every single one. It's flat. So I have created my mission, or done my mission. Awesome. So, so I'm going to show you what I have. Miss Nanette, thank you for the use them on the envelope, because yes, I did. And, um, well, let's see here. This is the sample they gave me. And here's my envelope on the front side where I'm going to put there, but there's the rest of it. I didn't end up using this. That's okay. Let me reach a little. So I've got my happy pull. Happy birthday. I'm so happy that it says pull. I don't know why. Happy birthday to you. Treat yourself. You deserve it. And I think this is going to be like a dinner or something. So celebrate and then two from so cute I'm so happy <laughs> I have one done only about seven more to go and then I'll have to sh post 
later in the week when I use that extra scrap and show you what I made with it. I'm not even sure, so if you have ideas, please let me know. Uh, let me show you what the scrap... Oh, hold on. I have to reach. The, this is the scrap here. And I'm sitting here going, I don't know if it looks like anything already to me, except for maybe a house. That's what I was thinking. So I don't really know. But I'm going to figure it out. So there's always something going on, isn't there? But um, So that's about all I think I have for tonight. And, um, well, we, we've almost done our half hour already. My gosh, it goes quick. So... Um, so that's Paper Pumpkin. Remember that it's fourth birthday, so there's a surprise this month. If you want to sign up, please ask me how. You um, go to paperpumpkin.com, designate, designate me as your demonstrator, Johnny Daniel, and um, from there you sign up. Remember, too, that there's promotions for celebration, even with Paper Pumpkin, so if you want to get some free stuff, you're more than welcome to, but that's while supplies last because we're in the last home stretch of that. So make sure you don't miss out. And um, yeah, it kind of does look like Christmas ornaments, doesn't it? I was thinking that with the negatives, definitely. So I might put a background on it and have it be a background for a Christmas card. I just don't know. We will see how this turns out. So that's about all I have for tonight. Um, follow me on Facebook, Stamping with Johnny. Follow me on Instagram, Johnny Stamps, and do I have anything else? If you'd like to get a newsletter or anything, please feel free to email me. Um, you can do that through my website, johnnydaniel.stampinup.net, and um, well, I've enjoyed it tonight. I hope you have too, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.